Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, what we have here is another old timer sent to me by Toby and family. Thank you, Toby and family. I am starting to get a good collection of these old timers. Um, this is a very interesting and nice knife. When I first, when I saw it in the pictures and everything, I thought it was a double-edged boot dagger i mean that that's what i you know it kind of looks like but it's got a very nice normal type of edge up here with a swedge and there's a lot of things that i like about this knife and um can't really think of anything i don't like for for its size now this morning i was walking around and i was carrying this with me and i found that i can't throw these smaller blades as easily as I can a bigger blade. The balance is kind of like back here on this one. I mean, but I've thrown big bladed buoys. There's something about it. I, I don't get the rotation, you know, just right, but uh, it would be more suited to a full throw instead of a half throw, you know, full spin. But it's nice. I like the way this these... Uh, you know, guards up here kind of come up like this. It just fits naturally in a hand. This is tapered up here, so your hand can sit right here if you wanted to. Oh, yeah, we got... I don't know where I moved him to. Let me go get my hobo armor. We have to do one of those tests before I get too far carried away. See if I can reach it without knocking a camera over and everything else. <clears throat> the joys of getting old. All right, so <clears throat> this is a... Potentially pokey stabby type of a, a setup here, you know, with this point and everything. So let me do a standard routine hobo armor test. I'm going to get from about like a foot away. Oh man! Whoa! That one didn't stop going i mean all i had to all i had to do is just add more force all right let's push it back let's get it accurate that's more like it i must have hit a seam or something you know i was ex i was expecting it to just go maybe that far so if you put more force to it even from 12 inches i'm really not even 12 inches i'm from right back here let's let's, let's measure the distance i'm thrusting from yeah, it's like about six inches away. So it's like half a foot away. And I'm not putting my force behind. I'm just like, eh. Oh, man. <sighs> this thing's good. Let me let me try a, a non-rib cage stab. A vertical. Uh, oh, doesn't stop it. <laughs> I don't know if this is in, in frame here. I've been stabbing away. Oh, man. Yes. It has all the advantages of a double edge without the disadvantage of a double edge. I mean, not all the advantages. You can't do a, a real good back cut, but I mean, this would still hurt. But yeah, this is impressive. This is impressive. And it comes with a very nice, genuine leather sheath. The back smells a lot more like leather than the front. It's been like dyed. But this is nice, wet formed here, or you know, semi rigid, whatever. It's, it's stiff, I guess is what I'd have to say. And it goes in like that. You got this little snap right here to secure it. It does secure it because the way the, that bolster's flared out like that. <clears throat> if you look at the old timer name is sitting there, then the edge will be down below it. If you put it this way the edge will be facing forward. And you can insert it either way into the sheath and have it, you know, close. So just be aware of that. If you pull this out like this, it's fine. But if you put it the other way and you're grabbing it like this and you think this is your false edge or the spine of your blade, it's not. And it, it's a spear point. Like I said, I like the way they did the swedge. Look how it, it just tapers, and then they just blended it in. 
Some, some they just, you know, they just beep, they make it to a point on the switch. Like I said, it's got a nice, very nice pointy edge. I haven't touched it as far as like sharpening it or anything like that. I just carried it and threw it at crickets and the crickets won. They deflected every attack. I didn't film it. I was just walking around. Oh, and be aware of any place that has construction. Uh, my apartment complex has a horseshoe type of entrance, so you could use either one to get to whatever spot. And I usually take the second entrance. Well, I was walking around and looking at the first entrance where they're doing all this construction, and look at these wicked nails. Now, some of these, you know, you can tell this one, it's been run over, you know? It's been run over already. This one's bent. It's about ready to go into somebody's, you know, tire. These are not super pointy, but it don't take pointy a lot, you know. You take the pressure of a whole car, the weight of a whole car on your tire, and you're going to have issues. Now, these are the ones that will really get you because it will stand up on its base. And look, it's got a nice sharp piece because it's already been run over. And here's some more. So yeah, anytime you're around a, a construction place, just be aware that uh, you might need some tire repair in the future if you don't watch out. So yeah, this is a let's let's see what its blade length is, what its cutting edge is. This is a pretty decent little little knife, and the sheath fit in the front pocket of my cargo pocket easily. I mean, I didn't have anything else in that pocket, but still, it fit in there easily. Yeah, I did. I had a I had a stream light in there, a micro stream light. But yeah, it's a very a very nice. You know, it's got a basic sheath. It looks like maybe two inch, inch and a half belt. It'll accept. Yeah, two inch belt. Or centimoids five centimeters five centipedes <clears throat> but yeah it's nice I'll have to get the weight down oh yeah we need to check the cutting edge let's see what, what kind of cutting edge 4.27 ounces 121 grams or the other ruler or is it no this is the right ruler I like this one because it puts the centimeters and the inches on the same side. The other ruler that I had, and this one's more accurate. Look at it. Look how accurate it gets. All right, why are we looking down there when we need to look up here? So, yeah, you got about a three and three eighths inch cutting edge. Is that eighths? Yeah. And about three and five eighths. See, that's where centimeters got us over this. You don't have to break it down into another fraction of a fraction. You just put another number down there. So in this case, it would be 94 millimoids. And you've got a 85 centimeter cutting edge, or centipede cutting edge. No, that's millimeds. We got to get... Centimedes, millimedes, millibugs. Hope nobody is watching this and trying to learn uh, metrics from me because I will m mispronounce things often on purpose. So yeah, don't overlook this knife, man. This is a this is a pretty nice. It would make a pretty good camp knife. Let's let's carve some. Let's whittle on some fat wood. See how that does. I'm sure I'm in frame. Framage. Need framage. Oh yeah, you can curl away if you want. See if you had a puko or something else that you're using for wood, you could use this for your food prep and stuff like that because it's got a nice flat grind to it. And Pretty decent little knife. I don't feel any 
any sharp everything's smooth here no problem with the transitions you got that delrin yeah it's a different delrin than the than the newer i mean the newer is different than the older but this still is is done well enough for me full tang charade really i did i overlooked these for decades because that that's just usually before people had a lot of flippers and everything i kind of looked at the old timers knives as like people that bought knives to use them um but didn't buy them because of the hype or anything else you know now case is the same way but case was always more expensive you know i mean a, a this a similar case i don't know what this one costs right now i haven't looked at the price but a similar case knife would probably be 80 100 dollars or more now yeah it's made out of better steel and everything else but i'm just saying it's nice to have a choice of lesser um expense especially nowadays you don't want to have to even have to pay for a flat tire man you know what would happen if it got like in your sidewall and messed up your tire where you, the whole tire would have to be replaced? This little nail could cost you a couple hundred dollars easily. So I pick them up when I see them just to help everybody else. I know maintenance had this little um, thing they could hook on the end of their buggy that rolls around. It's got a magnet on it and a lot of these are magnetic. We got anything magnetic around here? Oh yeah, we got a magnet. Yeah. I got a magnet over on the vise. Let me, uh, these guys might be aluminum. Nope, they're magnetic. So yeah, all I gotta do is run around with those little, little uh, magnet sweeper things, you know, pick all that crap up. They should have thought of that, you know. Anyway, there you go, there's my ramblings. There's my thoughts uh, on this knife. I really appreciate um, getting these you know because I, like i said i would have passed this one up i would have looked at it and thought oh that's just the same old i don't need a double edge i went through that phase in the in the 70s and the 80s where everybody had a double edge at least one a double edged boot knife you know dagger a lot of places it was illegal that didn't stop me you know it's kind of lawless like that uh, I didn't cause any trouble, so there was no need to be searched most of the time. But if any trouble was that to happen, I was going to be ready in some way. Um, anyway, there you go. Don't overlook these guys. And uh, have fun using your knives. Let me, let me cut a little piece of paper, too, while we're at it. The only thing we've missed, other than we've done hobo armor. I don't want to cut myself. Just to I know it can do it. fairly sharp it's got some it does a clean cut but I, I can feel some pull it could use some stroppage and I have thrown this in the ground a couple of times but yeah it came it came pretty well pretty well done so it's the 162 OT don't overlook this guy thank you for watching and have a nice day